What is up? It is Jordan from By 9 to 5 helping you say goodbye to your 9 to 5. And today I am going to share with you guys some of my main tips that I have learned over my past four years that have helped me make over a million dollars online and some tips that will help you be able to do the same thing. Now these are tips that have absolutely changed my life. So you're not gonna wanna miss this one. This is something I don't talk about often. So I'm looking forward to sharing this with you. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned to the whole thing. So let's get into it. Thing and probably the most important and the one that a lot of you guys struggle with and the one that I struggled with is taking action. I know a lot of you guys watch a lot of videos just like this. You learn a lot of things, but you never apply them. This is something that happened to me as well. I used to sit down and watch videos for hours and hours every day, trying to learn different techniques, different ways to make money online. But it took me probably two years before I actually started taking action on something. One day I finally said, you know what? I am done searching. I'm just gonna make a channel. I don't know if anyone's gonna watch it. Back then that was my conspiracy channel that I did. The very first one that I was successful with doing. And you know, I literally didn't know if it would work. I didn't know if people were gonna watch the videos. I was like, why are they gonna watch my videos when you know these videos are already on YouTube? Turns out it was actually extremely easy to do and it didn't take me more than a few weeks to start making a thousand dollars a day. And so this is something that absolutely shocked me at first. And then once I learned that, it absolutely changed my life because once you're successful with one thing, you become very comfortable with adding more things and then you begin getting more confident and you begin saying, you know what? If this worked, why can't this work? And so the number one thing you need to do is take action. That's something I know a lot of you guys are struggling with. And so I hope that this helps you out with just knowing that if you do not take any steps, you will never find success. Which then leads me into number two. Number two is negativity, okay? Letting yourself believe that something can't be accomplished. Letting yourself believe that you know you can't do this. A lot of my viewers spend most of their time looking at why this wouldn't work. Asking me, you know, but what about this? Did you think about this? How come this works when this? That is negativity. You're negatively deciding that you cannot be successful before you even start. Even though you have a ton of examples of people that you already know are successful in doing this, you tell yourself, but they have this thing. They have this amount of subs. They have this many followers. They have this advantage that I don't have. They live in America and I don't. They have this. They have that. Okay, well I guarantee you if you stop thinking that way and start taking action, you will find out that that's actually false. Most of the things that you were worried about that you thought would make you struggle will actually not even be a roadblock. And then some things that you didn't even think of will be the roadblocks. Those are the things you'll have to get past. But if you do not take action, you will not ever succeed, right? So if you have this negativity in your head, what is wrong and why it won't work and this and that, you're never gonna find success because you're never gonna start. You have to get rid of that mental roadblock. Same thing happened with me, with my channels when I first started them. I had this negativity in my head. I would watch these people and I would say, you know, but they have this advantage that I don't have. But I was able to shut that out and that's why I eventually found success. You have to be able to shut that out. I see it every single day. I see students who literally first day come in to my course and they're already negatively saying this and that and why this won't work and why this won't work and all of these things and they've quit before they've even started. Okay, and that's the number one thing that you cannot do. Number three is following the safe route. Now it took me all the way through going to school, going to college, getting a master's degree in post-education and then getting a business analyst job for three years in a publicly traded company to find out that the safe route is not the way to go. You will never be financially free. You will never be free in your life. You will always be a slave making just enough to get by on a job. This was something that took me a long time to learn. But after six years of college in a very, very tough to get into master's degree program in business psychology, at the end of graduating from that, I got out to a $45,000 a year job, which is ridiculous, okay? 
Um, for how much that company's making, it's ridiculous that that's how much they were paying me. For the skills that I had and the degree that I had, that's ridiculous. And you guys are going to see the same thing as you go through college, as you go into your first job, you're gonna find that you're getting paid just enough to, you know, I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't have been able to buy this house. I wouldn't have been able to buy my new car that I have. Um, I wouldn't have went on half the trips I've been able to go on to because number one, I didn't have enough money. Number two, I only got two weeks of vacation a year. That is not enough to be happy in life, guys. I will tell you, you do not wanna live 50 years living frugally, not buying things you want to buy, not going on trips you want to go on, just with the hope that maybe you'll have enough money when you're 65 to be able to retire and actually enjoy yourself, which then you're still going to be living frugally because you'll have to make your money last for the rest of your life. Investments do not work as well as they'll make you believe they want your investment money. They want a cut of those profits. And I'll tell you right now, same thing with 401k, guys. No one even knows if it works. Social security, that's going away. <laughs> You're never going to be rich by working for someone else because that person is using you to make themselves rich, not to help you. So, you know, you're always going to be underpaid. You're never going to have freedom. You're always going to be a slave. And as soon as I realized this, and I you know, felt the depression of working in a full-time job and seeing that this was gonna be me for the f next 50 years. And more importantly, looking into the eyes of people who worked there who were like 40, 50 years old, they had no soul, they had no life in their eyes at all. And that terrified me. I did not want to be them. I would not see any one of those employees smile until 4 p.m. on Friday. And I'm not even kidding. That was not the life I wanted to live. So I knew I had to get out of it. Some of you guys are probably going through that right now and that's why you're watching this. Some of you probably um, don't even know what it's like yet, but I'll tell you right now, try to get out of that before you even get in it. And that is very important as far as I'm concerned. I've never been happier. I've never been healthier. Um, I've never been more comfortable with life. Um, I basically have no anxiety ever. I basically have nothing to worry about. Um, I'm free to do what I want when I want. Um, I'm financially independent. I am life-wise. I have no obligations. Everything is great and it's all because of this. So do it. Next up, never stop looking for opportunities. This is something I do all the time, every single day. I'm always looking for opportunities. I'm looking for things that can help me. Um, I'm finding softwares that can help me rank YouTube videos softwares that can help me with affiliate marketing, softwares that can help me rank on Google. And then I'm thinking, what can I do that hasn't yet been done? Could I design some t-shirts and then rank on the top of Google using this software that I can then use to get people into the store to buy shirts? Can I find a way to rank a video for this certain topic and then have an affiliate link in the description that can help me make money on a topic that no one's doing yet? What YouTube channel can I start that high opportunity, I guess a lot of search volume, but not a ton of competition and can also pay well. Those are things I'm always looking for 24 seven and you need to think outside the box, okay? No one is going to give you the perfect idea because if they have a perfect idea, they're using it themselves and they definitely don't wanna give it to you, okay? So you need to keep that in mind. You need to be thinking outside the box, thinking for opportunities, do new things, try new things. Most of the time, you're not really gonna lose anything by trying something except a little bit of time. Okay, you're usually not gonna lose much money if you're being smart about it. You never wanna invest a bunch of money into something that you don't know if it'll work or not. You need to invest a little bit of money for you know a small risk with an opportunity for a high payoff. And then once you know it's proven to work, then you can crank up the money you're investing into it, and then you're going to expand the money you're able to get out of it. So make sure you're always thinking outside the box, looking for opportunities. Oh, this hasn't been done yet. You know, there's a guy who made a million dollars and all he did was make a website and he sold each pixel for a dollar. There were a million pixels on that website. He made a million dollars by selling each little pixel. That site's still up today. So, you know, that's an idea of a guy who thought outside the box. A lot of things that you think are stupid. I mean, there's a guy who made millions of dollars and all he did was sell a pet freaking rock, okay? There are so many opportunities out there if you think outside the box. Do a little bit of marketing, a little bit of smarts, 
okay, can go a long way. So always think outside the box. Never give up and let your negativity stop you before you even start. And do not stop studying ever. And this leads me into my next point. Treat this like a job because it is, okay? You do not go into work and say, I'm gonna go to work for a week and if they don't give me a raise or I don't double my income this week, I'm quitting, okay? That's how a lot of you guys treat this. You're like, I don't wanna waste time. Um, you know, I have limited time after work. I don't wanna spend my time doing this if I'm not going to make any money. Things like that, okay? Same thing with work though. You go into work, you get paid a little bit of money and you're hoping that in the next five years maybe it'll give you a little bit of a raise, right? Maybe you'll get a little bit of a promotion, right? Well, I'll tell you right now, making money online, you can give yourself a promotion, you can double, triple, quadruple your income just by working a little bit smarter. You don't even have to work harder, you just have to work a little bit smarter. I promise you, you will never, with one change, double, triple or quadruple your income at a job, okay? So treat this like a job. Always be thinking, what can I do differently to make more money? Um, you know, should I do this this way? Should I change something up? You know, always be thinking about what you can do to make things better for yourself. You know, because so many people come into this, they spend a week working on whatever it is, whether it's drop shipping, affiliate marketing, YouTube, whatever it is that they're trying to do as their business, they're like, okay, I'll try this for a week and then if it doesn't work, well, then I'll just assume it doesn't work and I'll give up. That is not how anybody making money online becomes successful. Something you gotta learn for at least six months. Take the time to actually dive in and learn it. And do not jump to something else before you've given your all to one thing. You'll know when the time is right to jump onto something else. Um, and usually that's either if you've tried every single option that you can think of for six months and nothing worked, or it's once you have gotten your money to a place where you don't think you can expand it any farther in that business. That's when you move and add a second. Then you have two successful businesses, then you have three, then you have four, and that's when you really start becoming a millionaire. So you need to keep those things in mind. Treat this like a job. Work on it as long and as hard as you work on your job, okay? And I guarantee you, you will make more money than you could ever imagine at any job that you're at right now. So I hope that this video helped you out. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know which one of these actually struck a chord with you. Which ones made you think about something in a different way? Which ones are you struggling with? And what are you going to do to change it? I'd love to know. By the way, didn't really wanna make this the point of the video, but I do have a really good discount going on on the course today. So if you've been on the fence, now's your time. Go ahead, click the description and check it out. But this is the whole reason I made this channel is just to share with you guys and pass along the knowledge that I have learned along the way from my businesses online. So I hope that this was valuable for you and that you learned something. That's it. It's going to do it for me. I'm out. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.